Hello viewers, welcome back. You're joining me as we're about to put the finishing touches to level 4. Just a couple of more scrolls left to collect before we can exit to level 5. So there's a skeleton behind this door. These guys are pretty routine now. No, no need to dodge out of the way. We'll need to align these scrolls in the correct order to exit the level. Okay, here's the important part now. See the hidden switch on the wall over there? We need to press that to deactivate the teleporter to our right. Then we can drop down into a secret area. But first we have to lower the pits that are actually in front of the switch. And we'll be landing on the right hand side there, in that room. By dropping down that hole. So here we go, it's quite fast. These pits are closed now. So we can turn off the teleporter and drop straight down. When we were down here earlier, we cleared out most of the skeletons. So it should be quite a, a plain run to the end. I can say that I wasn't expecting this when I got to this point. Jeez, it hits very hard. I'll just step back a few spots here just in case it moves. Although I think it is stuck below that grate. It does hit hard. Let's try and finish it off now. Uh, not too bad with a bit of a sleep in between. And now we've actually got that key from solving the puzzle by jumping down the teleporter. We can open the door at the end a little bit earlier here. I'll just uh, level up Gothmog before we jump in. I've no idea what's behind the door. Nothing too dangerous. That's some good armour, plus 9 protection. That's better than some heavy armour pieces that you find early on. Well worth equipping. Then once my Galden character gets the heavy armour proficiency, my Minotaur can inherit his light armour. Okay, let's crack the final puzzle in this area. The catacomb sounds quite ominous. Great, not again. Sounds like there's an archer behind them. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, let me step through the teleporter. That was interesting. I guess I'll be seeing him later. Just see someone around the back. And the solution to the puzzle in this room there's a three pressure plates in the area, that's one of them, and we actually have to lift the weight off all three plates. To open the way to the exit. That's the second pressure plate. If these archers were a bit more aggressive, it'd be a little bit more difficult to kill them, but they tend to want to dodge out of the way a bit too much, which makes getting around the side and the back a little bit too easy. And there's one switch to pull here to solve one of the puzzles. Even in groups of four, these guys aren't too difficult now. And it looks like my torch is fading as well. Not the best timing. If I try pressing that switch again, I should be able to get into the room now that the skeletons came out of. It's like a Robin Hood hat. When I started collecting all these fire bombs and lightning bombs, I was wondering whether I'd actually used them or not. I remember from Dungeon Master that I had a ton of them left in my inventory at the end. I think I need to start to learn to use them or force myself to use them. It might save me a little bit of mana. Once I've wasted these skeletons, that'll be the final pressure pad that's released. This guy's an eye mail better. It better be worth it. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not too bad. And some leather gloves as well. I don't think my main guy. No, that's good. A new pair of gloves. A 
Although hopefully Galden will be wearing some male gloves soon once I get the heavy armor proficiency. I'm just lifting the weight off the pressure plate there. I'm not sure if that spear was actually touching it or not, but it's best to get it out of the way. And now those three pressure plates in the distance, or the, the trap doors I should say, are all closed now. And there's the final scroll. We just need to place them in the right order now when we get back to the main room. Yeah, the archer must have been the one who stepped into the teleporter before. Makes a nice surprise. But he's still dead. So then, this is where you'll see which scroll goes where. You have to effectively complete the sentence by getting the scrolls in the right order. And when you insert this last scroll, the one thing you want to do is run as all hell breaks loose from those the secret doors that are opening. You'll see what's gone out in a minute. But we'll need a good rest before we can kill them all. When you put the final scroll in, you can actually run to the exit if you want to. But by staying on this level, we can actually get to a, another semi-secret area. And get a new weapon for our Minotaur. Again, I'm using my ice attack here when I can to, to try and hit two or more mobs at once. As per usual, my Minotaur is taking a hell of a beating. These guys don't hit too hard on their own, but they attack very fast. So the faster your mouse speed, the easier these guys will be. Nice combo. the idea here of how many of these guys they actually are. If you don't run and hide, you can't really fight in that room with about 10 to 15 of them attacking. Ooh. Let's have a look what my fire mage can do. One point in that gives me some resist poison. May as well put that in. A bit more willpower, and I guess the rest into fire.
This should be the last of them now, he says. Oh. Uh, at least three more. You can see here why a lot of people who don't actually need the Minotaur weapon coming up just sprint to the exit. It saves you a lot of hassle. Whew. Take a deep breath after all that. Still a short distance away from heavy armour proficiency. But if I don't start the journey now, I'll never get there. Time to collect the loot. And that's the main part of it. Attack power 20 compared to attack power 10. You can't beat that. The lever there on the right just reactivates the teleporters in the main room, just in case you forgot something. Note to self, start using those bombs. But you never will forget. Frost belt, ice magic 13. I'll be able to cast that pretty soon. And now heal to full health, and let's get out of here. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the descent into level 5.